Here we are, sports fans, out of the property. It's a cold, snowy day on a Monday. So we had a lot of snow yesterday, and from last week, we gotta blow the laneway out. So you can see how high the bank is here compared to the truck. It's a little bit thicker here. And we gotta walk in and get the tractor. So I'm gonna take you for a walk today. Ugh. She's a little bit deep at the front there. So, this is my walk going in when it's a snow day like this. Now remember, this is a long walk because oh, friggin', it's even deeper than I thought. Friggin' snow is going everywhere. Right down my pants with my boots. You have to tighten these up a bit. You can see a little bit, the animals have gone to the side, but there's not a whole lot of movement right now. There's probably more movement up near the, the shack. So this could be a long video because we got a ways to go. Because remember, my laneway is a third of a mile long, 1,800 feet, roughly. Works out to about a third of a mile. So, and the reason I walk down the center is because when I come back with the tractor and the snowblower, my first pass is down the center. I make three passes. First one down the center, one off to one side, one to the other. And by walking down the center, I give myself a guide as to where the center of my lane is. Because it's kind of hard to tell otherwise. And it's heavy walking in here, because if you see how far down I'm sinking with my boots. So I have to lift my boots up every time. It's a good walk. This is the worst part of the whole thing, is actually doing this. I do not know how long this video is going to be. But... It's actually not a bad day. Not a lot of wind. Snow is weighing the branches down a bit. You can see up here. We can knock that off when we go by with the tractor. So just turn around and you can see where we've come. 
we just passed the first turn. We got a ways to go yet. I have a stick with me on the tractor that I use to knock the snow off this when I come down. I'm not gonna do it now because I don't want to have a snow shower. Not a lot of recent activity this morning. All the tracks that are on the laneway from the animals are covered. So what I do when I come down here is I make a pass down the center, blow it to one side or the other. Doesn't really matter. And then go back up on either side, blow it off into the woods. And then make another pass coming down. What's well, a fresh track? Which way are said deer going? And they're going that way. Off into the bush. They come from over there. Over by the swamp. Yeah, and then I'll clean out uh, what I do is I'll go down and clean out the end of the laneway and clean it back uh, quite a bit. After the first pass, I go down with the tractor down the center. I'll clean out the end of the laneway and clean it out right to the road and clean it enough that I can get the truck in off the road. And then come back up and do the one side, go back down and do the other side. Bring the tractor back up. And put it away. And then basically, walk back down and pick up the truck. However, that's a fairly deep trail. If I had a guess, I would say that's a beaver. Because he's coming from over there which I know he goes through. That's deeper than any track for deer. And I'd say that's our friendly beaver. But yeah, clean up the lane then. The walk back is easier because there's no snow on the road. You actually do it in sneakers if you had to. It's a lot of snow. Some fresh deer tracks. Some more fresh ones right here. Going off into the woods that way. We're halfway, we've passed the halfway marker. I'm 
So we are starting to see some more fresh tracks up here, which I figured we would. But the deer stick close to the sides. They don't know how to go out in the center of the necross. But you'll see that the tracks run up the side here, across over the other side, but they both they stay along the edges. And you probably noticed that in the game camera video pictures that I have from the cameras along here. That they tend to stick to the side. Kind of afraid to see how much snow is on the deck when I get up there. How much I got a shovel to open everything up. Oh, started going through here. pretty deep. I'm talking we got a foot of snow here at least. Easy. Easy. You can see Ken's trailer right there. Stored here for the winter. And of course, this is where our gravel is and our sand. So, whoa. We're three quarters of the way there. Turn around, you see where we've come from in the laneway. It's actually quite beautiful out here with all the snow on the trees. It's 
or deer tracks that are fairly recent. You can see now we're down by the scrap in the fire pit area. We're almost there. You get the sign to the deer field up ahead here. You see the weight of the snow pushing some of those branches right down to the ground. See some tracks out there to the deer field. Not a whole lot of activity because we haven't had any feet out there. Let's get up here. You can see we're almost there. It's coming up the laneway. Up the hill. actually takes more time to blow out the parking area than it does to do the laneway, believe it or not. And here we are. See, well, that's how much snow we've had. I have no idea how much that even is. Looks like it's over a foot. As you can see on the edge of the deck there. So that's all gonna have to get shoveled off. But first, we gotta get the laneway done. Then I come back here and fiddle fuck around with this. Oh, I see my feeders on the ground. There you can see it, just a, just a yellow down there. It's the Niger seed feeder. So let's get this stuff going and I'll take a video of later on when I go back down, you can see the difference. So there you have it sports fans. We'll, uh, we'll keep you updated. See you here.